What I'm about to talk about is not an item, but rather a remarkable person, a visionary, and a first. She's an accomplished leader, strategist, academic, teacher, mentor, colleague, and with the approval of the Board of Regents, the first woman to become chancellor at UC Berkeley, Carol T. Christ. One of the key reasons I chose Dr. Christ as my choice to become Berkeley's 11th chancellor is because she is the very best of what UC Berkeley and the University of California as a whole represents. She's committed to and upholds the core values of our great university. Currently, Dr. Chris serves as Berkeley's interim executive chancellor and provost. She's also the former president of Smith College, one of our nation's most distinguished liberal arts colleges, which was left much improved after her 11-year tenure there. Dr. Christ has a way of making things better. She builds strong relationships and trust with diverse groups and diverse individuals, and then forms consensus and finds solutions. In challenges, she uncovers opportunities and improves upon them. I believe she's the right person to lead what is widely regarded as the best public research university in the world. It also helps that she loves the place and the faculty, students, staff, alumni, and community who make Berkeley what it is, rightly famous. Here's a bit about Dr. Chris's background. She is a Victorian literature scholar who, as a young assistant professor, joined the Berkeley faculty in 1970 at a time when only 3% of faculty members were women. She became chair of the English department in 1985, and three years later, she was appointed dean of humanities. After, a year after that, it was provost and dean of letters and science. In 1994, Dr. Chris was named vice chancellor and provost, and later she became executive vice chancellor, making her the highest ranking female administrator on campus. In every position she's held at Berkeley, she left the entity she was leading better off. Throughout all these years, Dr. Christ was also proving herself to be a tireless champion of gender equality and diversity. These are issues that are central to who she is. She is proud that her first administrative position was assistant to the chancellor on issues involving the status of women and Title IX compliance coordinator. Dr. Chris returned to full-time teaching in 2000 before leaving Berkeley in 2002 to become the 10th president of Smith College, where she led a wide-ranging strategic planning process that positioned the college for continued academic excellence and financial stability. Then she retired in 2013, or so she thought. It was Berkeley that pulled her back in. In January of 2015, Dr. Chris returned to campus as director of the Center for Studies in Higher Education, and in May of last year, she agreed to take up her former role as executive vice chancellor and provost on an interim basis. As interim executive vice chancellor, she currently serves as Berkeley's leading senior executive responsible for the campus's day-to-day -day operations and finances. In this capacity, she's leading the effort to address Berkeley's financial issues and put it on a solid foundation to continue its preeminence and impact for the next 150 years. She is charged with the planning, development, implementation, assessment, and enhancement of all academic programs, policies, and supporting infrastructure. She is responsible for ensuring Berkeley continues its unmatched record of academic leadership by overseeing faculty recruitment, retention, and renewal, as well as reviewing appointments, tenure, and promotion for Berkeley's 1,500 full-time faculty. As interim provost, she is the chief academic officer on campus. In partnership with the Academic Senate, she oversees the planning, quality, and delivering of education provided to Berkeley's 27,000 undergrads and 10,000 grad students. And as if this weren't enough, Throughout most of her administrative career, Dr. Christ has continued to teach and pursue her academic research. I strongly believe that Carol Christ will make an excellent chancellor for UC Berkeley. She has a compelling vision for Berkeley's future, a demonstrated record of accomplishment, and the trust of students, faculty, staff, alumni, and the other members of Berkeley's community. I urge you to support her appointment. Thank you.
I'm going to ask um, Regent Pettis to move the item. Move approval. Is there a, there's a I second? I enthusiastically second it. We're very lucky. Very good. We are very lucky. Um, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed abstentions? Um, enthusiastically and unanimously approve the appointment of Carol Christ as our new chancellor.